What is going on friends? If you're new to the channel, my name's Evan and I'm an online reseller. That means I go to places like garage sales and thrift stores to find stuff to sell online for a profit. A couple days ago, I was feeling, I was kind of procrastinating. I didn't want to go ship a bunch of packages that I had to do, so I decided to go thrifting instead. It was kind of an adventure. The first store, I, I made a huge mistake. The second one was really exciting. I found something I've never found before. And the third one, I found a brand that I hardly ever find around here. And it's one that you need to be on the lookout for. So stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Oh, this is a score. Sony Trinitron. This is definitely follow. They want seven dollars for it with the remote. The antenna's not broken. If it works, that's a score. So I had to leave the thrift store without the TV because dummy me, I forgot my wallet. I, I looked in my truck, wasn't there, called my daughter, she found it at home, so she's She's gonna bring it outside to me. I'm gonna race back to the thrift store. Hopefully the TV's still there. Leave me a comment down below. Let me let me know what you think. You think it'll still be there? But I'm almost home now and we're gonna turn around and go back. It's worth it. That's a pretty good come up. So hopefully it'll still be there. Thank you, baby. So I got the wallet, but do you guys see that little stop sign right there? Yeah, they're doing road construction. So that's gonna delay me even more. I, I really hope that thing's there when I get back. So did I get it? What do you guys think? Yeah, you know I did. It was still there. This is the Sony Trinitron KV-9PT50. Now let me show you why I was so excited. Put that in the eBay and there's only eight listed. You see the price there on that one, 250, 89 plus shipping, 111. Even the remote, somebody's trying to sell for 49.99. Go to sold, 28 solds. 130 plus shipping, 104, 150 plus shipping. Somebody sold the base, just the base for $50 plus $20 shipping. This is why I was so excited about it. I mean, that's almost a 300% sell through rate, but if it doesn't work, what's the point? So I'll put some batteries in the remote. It's green lights on, powers up. Now the reason these are so popular because gamers love them. They can hook up their old Nintendos and different consoles to them and, and play their games through these CRT TVs. All right, it's on video now. Let's go to channel. That's a good sign. Now I've actually got my Retron hooked up to it. Let's cook that on Sonic 3 Hedgehog. Go back to video. Oh yeah. 
So that definitely works. That's awesome. That's a good find. I'm going to do some testing on this game now while you guys check out that next thrift store. So this is pretty exciting. I got the golf clubs. Also found this Yakima five bike rack. Paid $20 for it. This thing sells for like $500 new. It's a five bike rack. Decent condition. It works. I checked it out. Gonna keep it for personal use though. Gonna use it to haul the kids bikes back and forth to the beach. Saves us some room inside the truck. We have more room for luggage or thrift hauls. Either one. But this is the exciting part. These are Tommy Armor Designers Model T-Line BC Golf Clubs. Only paid a dollar a piece for them. Paid $30 for everything. And it's the whole set, three through 10. And the BC is the exciting part. That stands for beryllium copper. These clubs are made out of copper. And I've never found copper clubs before. Very few manufacturers still make them. At maybe not at all, not real sure. These may not have a whole lot of value. I'll look at some comps and let you know. But they look cool. I'm gonna clean them up, see if I can get them close to original condition. That's actually an interesting process. I'll share that with you and uh, yeah, I'm gonna take them inside and see if I can't get them cleaned up. So all I'm gonna do here is rinse these off a little bit of warm water and then take a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and just, just go over them real good. I don't wanna use anything abrasive. Normally I would use a brush like this to scrub down in those grooves, but I don't wanna scratch the copper. Copper's a lot softer than the steel golf clubs and I don't wanna mess it up. So we're just trying to knock off all this loose dirt and grime before we, uh, before we use the secret ingredient. So got the clubs rinsed off, hit them with the magic eraser. Now all we do is put them in the bucket. Now we're gonna add a magic ingredient. And that is Diet Cola. You can use Diet Coke or whatever. This just happened to be cheap. But we're gonna add that in there, let it sit overnight for 24 hours. And after that, we'll check them out, see what they look like. In the meantime, check out this next thrift stop. I don't know what I was thinking when I walked past those two pairs of shoes, but luckily I circled back. Grab these Vans, they're solid yellow, they're a men's size nine, comps look like they're maybe around 30 bucks, I paid 650 for them. 
I mean, a pair of toddler ones sold for $30, so I should get at least that for them. Also, this is the brand you need to be on the lookout for. If you ever see this Maui fish hook thing, that's Olakai. Olakai has a really big following, really good sell through rate. These comp out around 30 bucks, but there's some Olakai that go for a lot more. Paid 650, she'll get around 34. Then I also picked up this George Strait Movement McIntyre t-shirt. It's not vintage, I just thought it was cool. I actually got it for me, but looking at the size tag wrong, it's, it's not gonna fit me. So if one of you guys wants it, leave a comment down below. Tell me you want the t-shirt. I'll randomly draw a name, maybe about a week or so, and I'll send it to you. But now it's time to check out those golf clubs, and I'm excited. So I'm gonna say that the coat did its job. These things are nice and shiny. Now it's time to go try them out. We're gonna hit a couple balls with them, make sure they work okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.